All right, gonna roll quickly with a vid here. Um, hey, Mark here, going to uh, uh, go over a little bit about that uh, water cooling system that I've been telling you about. Uh, purpose of, I bought a uh, Chinese laser here, haven't even fired it up. This is the model number here. I'll go over some vids and such uh, with the laser itself at another time uh, so we can go more in depth. Uh, this is a laser engraving machine. Like I said, this is one of the ones from China that you will see. Nothing too special there. Um, give you a quick of the internal components. You'll find these on eBay standardly. These are 40 watt CO2 lasers. That itself is the 40 watt CO2 laser bulb. Uh, you can see uh, on that it indeed comes from China. Um, basically, uh, the issue uh, you, you can have with the with the bulbs is they can heat up. Uh, if they do heat up and they stay uh, to a excessive temperature, you can, uh, at the worst case scenario, ruin. Uh, at the best case scenario, uh, decrease the life of your bulb. So, solution to such uh, from the factory is liquid cooling and that's not a bad idea um, in itself problem that you can have with the existing or the uh, recommended and provided liquid cooling system that they have is what they give you is a um, aquarium pump uh, essentially the, this uh, you actually drop this in a bucket of water uh, you can then uh, either just go with straight water I've seen people that will go with ice on the water as well or in the water um, you have an intake there um, and you have an outlet right there you run the outlet tubing to the outlet there uh, you will then um, uh, or to the inlet I'm sorry tubing uh, it'll go through goes through the outlet comes back and you would drop that into the water the problem with that is uh, the best you're gonna get is just um, well uh, at best would be ambient temperature uh, I would certainly think uh, so what I have done is uh, kind of going a couple of steps above that. I'm not going to go into a water uh, chiller per se. Yeah, you can spend 500000 and up on those systems. Just ridiculous. Um, I have the advantage of I've done a lot of liquid cool PCs, so I have a lot of excess parts laying around, and that is what I have done. So let's see here. Um, the outlet here, let's see, this is the outlet. Uh, you can see I currently have the system going. I don't know if you can see any uh, action through there or not. Not a whole lot. Maybe a little bit. But at any rate, it is running through. You have to trust me on that one. So what do we have here is we go from the quarter inch cheesy tubing that they have and I will replace. I just have run out of uh, what I was using. So I will have to order some more. But we go to a Tigon tubing, uh, which is much better. A 3 8 inch thick, that's 3 8 Tigon tubing, which uh, currently has an anti kink coil wrap on it. Um, that in itself will go into the uh, inlet right here. Um, that has a, a very small, not all that efficient of a pump in it, but it does keep circulation going through. This is a Zalman um, uh, fanless uh, water cooling system. It's a Reservator 1 Plus. Um, here's the specs on it if you're interested in that. Um, what this will do is you have your cooling fluid in there, currently distilled water. So you're coming out of the laser into this baby right here. The heat is allowed to dissipate through the fins here. And then what you do is it comes back out, 
right down here. When it comes back out, it runs into, let's see if I can put the phone where you can see, uh, right back in there. You've got a, um, a radiator, small radiator with a fan on top of it. Uh, it's a multi-speed fan as well. Um, that is your cooling. You are cooling uh, with a airflow system. Your water. The water thus will go through that, be cooled, and then it comes out. You can see, or not see, there is a pump in there. There is a more, or a little higher efficient pump. Uh, that one pumps at about 500 liters an hour. Thus, that will all come back out. And it will run through your tubing, into your quarter inch junk again, and into your uh, tubing, uh, or your uh, inlet of your laser bulb. You can see a little bubble there, so you know there is some action going on. Um, most of the bubbles in the system have worked their way out, so it's very difficult to see if there's a, a whole lot of movement. You might be able to see some constant movement through there. But trust me, everything is moving uh, pretty well. And it goes at a pretty good click. So, um, that is uh, the system. So, what does this system build out? Uh, from well, obviously you have the Reservator one uh, like I said that is by Zalman uh, This thing holds I, I believe if I recall I think it was like two and a half liters of fluid that you can put in there So that works good to hold whatever fluid I'm gonna need um, This unit itself. It's all scavenged from uh, old PC parts um, So we have a 200 watt power supply that is right down there um, obviously a little toggle switch uh, there to turn this unit on and off. Uh, we have a, a strong, um, oh, what am I thinking here, um, out uh, take fan. Um, this is going to blow any hot air out of the system itself. Uh, most of the fans on here are adjustable. This one I can really crank up quite a bit. Um, intake fan is up here. Uh, you, you can see that way down in there. Um, so you're actually pulling air not only from the top but from the front as well. Uh, this one also is adjustable. Might be able to hear that one crank up. So depending really on how cool I want to get things. Uh, depends on what I have set it. Alright, so that means that radiator is scavenged off of a thermal take 760i. That's a big water 760i. The only things left on that of the system is... Um, a fan, a radiator, and a pump. Everything else has been removed. This is, uh, uh, let me show you. Also, have a thermal take fan down here. That is an intake, uh, slow intake just to cool the uh, box itself. Um, this is all controlled through a fan master. Um, this allows me, although this temperature currently isn't reading correctly, um, should be. Um, you have the capability of four fans, or four fans, well, you do have four fans, but four temperature probes. Um, I currently have one, and I can't really show you. There's an inline, uh, no, I can't really show you where it's at, but there is an inline temperature probe that is going. Um, it is changing, but it's certainly not at 32 degrees. I have it set at a 90 degrees. Um, if the fan, if any of the fans stop or the temperature goes higher than what the preset is, you will get this awful loud uh, beeping and the display will actually change colors to this red right here. Okay, and it'll blink. 
So let me set it back to the normal green. Um, like I said, you do have the uh, capability of the four fan controllers here and you can hear them go up and down. The fourth one I'm not currently using. So all of this is made out of scrap and believe me it is scrap. I did not pay one dime for anything um, in building this system. Um, I even got some pieces of uh, some quarter inch uh, kind of put together because I ran out um, but everything seems to work pretty darn well I really can't complain um, I certainly I know without a doubt it's going to be more effective than uh, what they provided and um, uh, you know time will tell I'll have to do some measurements and such in the long term to see uh, exactly um, how efficient it is but there you go uh, like I said I'll do a uh, video of the uh, unit itself being the Chinese laser um, and I'll put that online lots of pictures and we're kind of gonna see is it worth buying these things um, mark out for now talk to you later